So a little video about the KitchenAid Artisan coffee machine. Um, as you can see, I've got some of the bits off this already. Um, mine was actually having an issue where smoke was coming out of here. Um, and uh, I actually um, uh, found out that it was actually the pump that was faulty. So let's have a quick look at um, some of the items. So you're gonna need a three mil um, Allen key and a 10 mil um, uh, spanner in order to do this task. Um, first thing to do is to remove these two cages. They both sit um, underneath the unit here, and then you have another one that will sit under this side. Uh, just held in with two um, hexagon screws um, that you can use your Allen key for. Um, I recommend um, obviously remove the rear um, water chamber from the back um, and then put it on some tea towels or something, lay it on its back and that will get all the water out. You can then remove these two cages that just slot off. Um, up to the top here, this cage just pulls itself off quite simply and that's gonna expose three hexagon screws, which you use the Allen key for. And if you just get around to the back, there's another screw that is just in that little hole there. Remove all that and this top plate will come off, exposing everything else. I'll just move the gauge out of the way. Talk about that in a second. So my um, uh, pump was faulty. So this is the, the main pump. Got one off the internet. Um, you can see part number and everything that's on here. It's quite a standard part. Um, mine was all um, clogged up at this end, so it was leaking. Um, so that was quite an easy part to replace. Um, it's held in by two black um, sort of L-shaped rubbers. Um, you can see there, and it's it's got it's held in with a sort of a clamp. So if you if this if this is the bottom tray, it's got a clamp that held in there like that. So you just need to prise the metal up with a screwdriver or something on both sides. Um, there's one there. You can just about see one in there. Um, once you've got the the case up, it's easier to get to. Um, note your two cables, um, what colour, which way round they go, um, and um, then it come out this end here which is probably easier to see on this. This end here is threaded. Um, so once you've got it, you can either twist this to remove the pump, or because mine had quite a lot of lime skill on it, I removed a 10 mil here. I removed this pipe and this pipe, and I pulled that section up and just gave it a clean. And you can see I've put some silicon around there to see um, if it's all gonna go. Uh, so you've got, on this system, you've got one boiler on this side, which powers the steam unit. And then under here is another boiler. So it draws the water up um, through the pump, through this line here, through the pump, and then distributes it this way. Um, and then um, the other one goes, uh, so that goes through there into the second steamer boiler. So that works. And mine was just leaking down here. It was flooding this main deck. Uh, and obviously it was causing an electrical issue, which is where the smoke come from. So hopefully that will resolve itself now. Um, there wasn't much internet, um, uh, sorry, information on the internet, so that's why I thought I'd do a little video. When you put it back together, um, uh, which I just discovered, I had to redo it, but just under here, it's probably not gonna be very easy to see, um, there's a little catch. So make sure you get the catch on the right side, otherwise your um, actual power switch will actually be pressed inwards. So just make sure you've got it on that side. Um, another thing that I uh, struggled with was this uh, um, copper spacer which actually slots on to there so that sits a little spacer there and that's your oh, sorry which way up is it I think that way, is that way up that's a little space that went on there that fell apart when I first put it out um, and then lastly um, so this is the knob for the steam unit that just pulls off um, uh, the last thing I'll just quickly say about was the gauge here, you can see it's reset to zero. Well, mine were just all over the place. Um, as you can see here, the temperature is off. If you get a 13 mil spanner or a screwdriver, hold the main body, and then where that spanner is, you can turn or put a screwdriver in there, turn that, and that will directly turn the gauge, and you can reset that back to zero, um, and then put it all back together again. So hopefully that's given you a bit more information than is on the internet about hopefully repairing these parts. Good luck.